Hey everyone, my name is Marco and welcome once again to the My Color Screen channel where you can learn everything there is to know about customizing your Android home screen. In today's video, I'll be showing you the complete guide to one of our very own apps, Media Utilities. If you don't have any idea what it is or you know what it is but you don't exactly know how to use it, well then, that's what this guide is for. So, let us begin. So starting off, I first want to describe to you what exactly is Media Utilities. And the first thing, well, and I can tell you what it is not, is a music player. What it actually is, is a collection of widgets, notifications and tasker plugins that work well with your media players. As soon as you start clicking play, it'll determine what music player it's coming from and then integrate it with your music player, providing you with any information that you desire. So in layman's terms, that pretty much just means you can either have it on its own, like I've got these media utility widgets here, or if I swipe across like here, you can see that it integrates into other widgets such as Zoopa widget and UCCW. And also don't be afraid that it uses Tasker plugins. You don't need Tasker, or if you've never heard of it, don't worry about it, because media utilities just does its own thing, providing you with the, all the correct media information. Great, so now hopefully you understand a little bit better about how Media Utilities operates, what it does, and its different functions. So from here, I'm just going to start off by introducing you the different widgets that Media Utilities has. And from there, I'm going to jump right into integrating it into different widgets, such as UCCW and Zoopa widget like here. So let us begin. So what I'm going to do now is just explain some of the Media Utilities widgets that are currently available. Just remember that, just a, a service announcement, that this is still in beta, so if there are any errors or force closes or anything that happens to your media utilities, just remember that it's still in beta, even though it's such a fantastic app. So I'm just going to hold down on the home screen now to add a widget and select widgets here, depending on whatever launcher you're using. Now I'm just going to scroll down to media utilities. Here it is over here, and as you can see, there are quite a number of different widgets to choose from here. We can start off by just having a standard cover art, so that just means the album art will be displayed. Beneath that you have the current app, so say if your play music is being used, it'll display that. Beneath that it's got your just your controls, so you can have it anywhere on the screen where you just have the play and pause. Beneath that you have your metadata, and what metadata means is say your album information, your artist information, only that will be displayed. From there we get a bit more complex, where you can start adding in other features, so you can have your cover art, plus the album information and plus the artist information, stuff like that, and then it just keeps going on and on. So as you can see, there's quite a variety to choose from here. I'm just gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna be selecting the first Media Utilities 4x2, which includes your cover art and your controls. So if I select that now, it's gonna bring you up into your editor menu here, whereby you can configure quite a few options here. Like I said, it's still in beta, so they're obviously still gonna improve on this, but right now it's still looking extremely impressive. This editor here is split up into a few sections, gonna, so I'm going to be starting them off one by one. We start off here with our widget configuration, so that will just be displaying you and helping you out here what your widget will be looking like. We can choose, we can change the sample background, so say if we don't want to have a white background, say if we want it to be, say, um, mine's a bit darker, so I want it to be a bit darker like that, say a nice dark grey, and select it now. Now that'll allow me to say if, say if I wanted to have white text and a transparent background, it won't it'll then be able to show me what that text will look like just so I can have some added functionality. From here, your background configuration. Now I know a lot of people like to go for their transparent look. So if you go into your background color here and you select it, it'll bring up all your different colors here. So now I can just make that fully transparent and select OK. So now that there'll be no background whatsoever. Moving down now, we now have the border configuration. So say if you wanted to add in a thin border around your widget, you're welcome to increase the border width, as well as change the color and make it rounded or not to have the rounded corners. So I, I never really enjoy having borders, so you can just leave that off if you want. Finally, we come to some interesting buttons here. So you can either display if you want to display your current media app. So say if I'm using Google Play Music, then it'll display that I'm using Google Play Music, but you can always just deselect that. And as you can see, that's where it would be, and it would now disappear. You can also take off the little media utilities icon there, that if selected, it will just bring up what media apps are currently running, and as well as just to change your quick settings. So I'm just gonna deselect that now. And then beneath that, you got your, you can disable your back button. So if you never wanna go back to a previous song, you can always just deselect it. But 
I don't know, I sometimes enjoy having to go back to my previous songs. And then finally, what's really, really cool about this skin or this widget is that you can change the button skin. So if you're not too interested in these, then that type of style, you can now select this button here. And as you can see, you've got quite a variety to choose from. Personally, I enjoy these minimal white and black ones here. So I'm just going to be selecting the white one like that. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to select done now. And there it is configured. I can hold down now and select resize. And that is pretty much the basis of all media utility widgets that come with it. It comes with a few very minimal settings that will get you to playing your music. And it still looks, I think, pretty good if you just want a very simple music widget. But now what happens is what if you want to integrate it with UCCW and Zupa as well? I'm just going to scroll to the side here and show you what I mean. As you can see, these are two independent widgets not related to media utilities at all and yet they can still display media utilities information. So in order to integrate media utilities with different widgets, there's a few things here that you need to take note of first. First thing that you want to do is to open up the media utilities app. I'm just going to open it up right now. As you can see, this is basically the main menu of media utilities displaying the different varieties of music players on your phone. If your if you're whatever music player isn't shown, then you can always just go into your options and then say add an app and then just add in your own personal media app if it isn't displayed here. But it is pretty good though. It's picked up all my different media apps. So I really enjoy that. But now we're going to go into our settings and there's quite a few things you can change here. If you want to have a notification bar at the top here, as you can see, it's playing. That's that top one there. That's displaying that it's been playing music. But now we get to the juicy bit. As you can see, the first thing that's going to start off here is the default not applicable string. So that just means that if no media is playing, what is it going to show? Which is actually pretty cool because before it was quite a hassle in order to get this to appear and it, it just wouldn't look good. So you can either, I'm just going to leave it now for those two little dashes like that. But you're welcome to say um, no music is playing or pause or whatever else you want. But I'm just going to leave it like that. But this is probably the, one of the most important aspects of the settings here. As you can see, this is the application integration. So what that means is what apps are available in order to integrate media utilities into it. So for now, here are the customization widgets that currently support media utilities. The only ones that I'm going to be focusing on now is Zupa widget as well as UCCW. As you can see, minimalistic text is also available here, but I'm not going to be focusing on that, just these two. So what I do recommend is pretty much just selecting all of these for now. Even the event that you might get a Pebble watch, can even integrate it with that which is very cool so make sure that those are selected i'm just going to scroll a bit down now and as it states that these are experimental features so they're not very guaranteed to work like i said this is still the beta version but they seem to work out pretty well for me so you do want to have selected attempt direct control as well as make cover art available as it might just make your cover art appear a lot easier but as always if it doesn't work you can just restart your phone and it might end up working like that Great, so that's all the internal workings done. We can now get out of the settings as now we can start integrating these with our set widgets. Great, so I'm going to be starting off with UCCW. I'm just going to be moving it up at the top here to insert my own. So it's very easy to add in your own UCCW skins. You just simply have to hold down on your home screen. Scroll all the way down. Let's get to UCCW like that. Now you're welcome to choose whatever size of skin you want to go for. I'm just going to go for a 4x2 just to make things a lot easier. From here, I'm going to be selecting a new skin as I just want to create one directly from scratch and making sure that my lock widgets is off I'm gonna select that hand to bring up my UCCW editor as you can see it is completely blank from here I'm gonna be selecting the button here that says add remove objects as I'm gonna be wanting to insert some objects in order to configure them so the first ones I'll be selecting is inserting two images that'll be my play button as well as my next track button I'm just going to be using those two now. So I'm, you can welcome to add in a third one as your back button. But I'm just going to be selecting the play pause and the next track button like that. Now the next two that I'll be selecting and don't worry, don't you fear, it is a task of variable. But a lot of people get very afraid about task of variables that they think, well, what is Tasker? I don't even know how to use Tasker. It's so irritating. But the good thing about media utilities is that you can work around Tasker, but you still need to select the variables in order to add in the media utilities options so i'm just going to be selecting two variables here one and two and now i can select close and everything that i need has now been inserted so what i've just done now is just move things around a bit remember if you have no idea how to use uccw check in the link in the description below for a complete guide to uccw so i want this first task of variable at the top here to display the current track information so in order to do that i just need to simply go into edit objects go into my task of variable one which is the one at the top and I want to scroll down here all the way to the bottom where it says text. Now it does say task of variables, so I want to erase that now. Get rid of that completely. 
and now you want to be inserting your basically your media utilities variables in here in order to display your media information now and it might sound a bit scary for the people that don't really know how to program or anything but that's the thing it's so simple to add in order to add in your track information to so in order to display what track is currently playing all you simply have to type is a capital M U underscore and then simply type out track like that and then select OK and as you can see it is already playing the music already I've already got it playing in the background so all I have to do now is to just change up my text a bit I can change the size now just by selecting size make it a bit smaller maybe change the font as well and as you can see there is my current track playing how easy was that so now for my second variable I'm just gonna select task of variable 2 and I want that to be my album artist so same thing applies I'm just gonna scroll to the bottom now select text and you, you're gonna kind of have to remember these but they, don't worry they are on the Google Play Store in the media utilities app and it if you just go to the description it'll tell you what variables are allowed but for you I'm just gonna display them quickly on the side here the variables that are allowed are your album your artist the track that's playing the cover art as well as a variable that if it is playing it'll return a one or zero if there's nothing playing but that's more for super widget the current app currently being used as well as the current package so say if a media app package is being used it'll display the name for that great so for now I'm just going to be putting in the album artist so I'm just going to be selecting or typing out mu underscore and then artist so I'm just going to select artist like that select ok and there it is playing my artist just like that so same thing applies you can change the size I'm just gonna leave the size though but I'm just gonna change the font so how easy was that I've already just currently changed my variables to display what artist is playing or as well as the track information how simple was that next up will be the images here so I've just selected if I select image one that is this one over here so I want that to be the next track that will be playing now in order for this it's slightly different I can't just put in a task a variable I have to assign a hotspot so that once I select it it'll jump to the next track so you might be a bit confused on how to do that but don't worry I'll guide you through it right now all I'm gonna do now is once I've selected that image one I'm now gonna select my image whereby I'm not gonna go into my preferred gallery and to find whatever next track icon I can find so I managed to find these cool looking blue icons right here so I'm just gonna for the next track I'm just gonna be selecting this one over here it's now been selected and as you can see it's now been changed and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the play pause one over here and as you can see they've now both been changed pretty easy and simple but now however I wanted to when I select that I wanted to play and pause and when I select the next track I wanted to skip to my next track so in order to do that we're now going to be configuring the different hotspots in order for that so for the next button right here I'm just going to select hotspots now and select hotspot number one and now it really selects your first hotspot if you haven't assigned it already so now all I have to do now is just move on my editor here and as you can see the first one appears so I'm gonna make that fit that area over there on my next track button right there so I'm just gonna select hotspot one now I'm gonna scroll down to width let's just make it a not so wide button as well as the height so it's not so down there at the bottom so I think I reckon that's pretty good I'm just gonna select close now but this is where it comes the very important part if I select hotspot now I want to select shortcut now what I want to do is scroll all the way down to media utilities actions and once I select that this new thing arrives where it'll allow you to change different media utility options so the one that I want to be looking or want to be selecting is the one called next so I'm going to select that now as that'll now play the next track once I select that and that's just it that's how you select a hotspot for that different button and then lastly I just changed my text to white just so that it'll look better on a dark background all I have to do now is go into my options lock widgets and select on very easy like that as you can see you can now see it at the bottom like this and because your lock widgets mode is on your hotspots mode will be on so if I select next give it some time and it'll now change your song so I really enjoy that if I want to stop playing my music I can just select that button as you can see it knows that it's been stopped and there it is boom no more music being played it'll just hide it for you like that that is UCCW out of the way let's jump right into Zuper widget great so Zuper widget is slightly different and it does and also enable you the option to show what cover art is currently being played which is a big plus compared to UCCW I don't think UCCW can handle cover art I tried it and it didn't work out too well but if you, someone knows a way just let me know I'm going to be adding in a Zuper widget now so same thing applies holding down on the home screen selecting widgets 
and scrolling all the way down to the very bottom where I'll be selecting Super Widget Pro like that. You can also do this on the free version. So for me, I'm going to be selecting a 4x3 just to get it into a nice looking size. Just going to resize it a bit like that. And now I'm going to select it in order to bring up my editor. Remember to check in the link in the description below for a complete guide to Super Widget as well. From here, I'm just going to be selecting empty because I'm just going to be starting from scratch. And from here, I want to go into my layout. Now from here, I'm just going to select the plus button to add in a module. And from here, I'm just going to be selecting a text module as I'm going to start off with the current artist. Now it is slightly different compared to UCCW, you, you can't just say MU Artist, you have to add in some, uh, just a little bit more text. So first what I'm going to do is just to increase the size a bit, so you can actually see what's going on, as well as just move it up a little bit like that. So from here I'm going to scroll down, and I want to look for that option called Edit Text Manually. If I select that now, it'll bring it up to our little console window here, I guess you could call it. And the one that we most worried about is the one called Tasker. I'm going to bring down that little drop down menu here, you can obviously just do this yourself. But first I just want to get rid of anything that's currently being displayed, as we only want to display our task variable like that. So if you select it now, it brings up with a little hashtag there with your T, and it ends in a hashtag as well. So where those dots are, you want to put in exactly the same thing you use where UCCW put in, in like the, say the MU artist or the MU track. But you always want to have that T in the front, because then that allows Zupa Widget to know that you want to be you're talking about a task of variable. So like I said, if you want to display what track is currently played, all you'd have to do now is remember the T's there, you just want to select MU underscore and then just type out track like that. And see, because it's being stopped, nothing is being played, which at least you know that it's, it's currently working. So I'm just going to select the tick now. And as you can see, if I start playing music, it'll already start showing you what it is. So I'm just going to make just make the font a little bit smaller now, as, as you can see. That's what it's doing. And that's how you'd add in text variables such as album information, artist information, etc. I'm not going to go through another one as it follows exactly the same method as UCCW. But however, I'm just going to show you quickly now how to add in cover art, so well, album art. And in order to do that, you want to select the option now called bitmap. So it's like I said, it'll now allow you to display whatever cover art or album art's being displayed there. And then from here, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says advanced and you want to select advanced parameters. As we all know, Zupa likes to get kinky with all the different kinds of conditionals and, and different types of code. So from here, same thing applies as you can now set that whatever picture that is to a task of variable. So same thing applies. I'm just going to select that T with the dots in the middle. And now I'm just going to be typing out MU underscore cover art. So as you can see, it straight away spits out all this code here that we're not too worried about. That just means that it's currently looking for that album info, that album art that's being displayed. So I'm just going to select the tick now. And as you can see, there is my little Daft Punk head currently being displayed. Now you're welcome to change all the different options, such as if you want to open up an app, you can change the module on tap, which means that if you select that little album art, it'll bring up your desired media player or whatever else you want it to do. And let's just focus more on that. Because it is a bitmap, like I said, you're welcome to change the bitmap. Say if you want to add in a play pause button. So let's just do that right now. I just want to add in a new bitmap. So I'm just going to scroll down here and select bitmap once again like that. And I want to do exactly the same thing like I did with UCCW. I want to have a little play pause icon. And then just when I select it, it'll change. So all I have to do now is select bitmap over the bottom here. I'm just going to select this little white icon here that'll bring me to my next track. I'm just going to select it like that. And from here, I'm just going to be selecting the module on tap as now I wanted to bring up, do the, exactly the same thing as I would for UCCW hotspot. And I'm going to swipe to shortcuts. Same thing now, I'm going to select media utilities actions. And same thing applies. If I want to go to the next track now, I can just select the next button like that and it'll now be assigned to that. So now I want to test it out. I'm just going to select back now back again so now I want to make the main widget not do anything so I'm just going to simply disable that so that means that wherever I touch around nothing's going to happen which is what I want and if I go back now as you can see this is how it's displayed so now I want to change the song I can just select that next button and the music will now change it is slightly faster than UCCW if that makes any difference for anyone but that concludes the complete guide to media utilities. Sorry, it might be a bit long, but I wanted to go through everything in order to give you the best possible advice in order to set up your own custom music widgets, such as Black Glass Boxes here by Black Bear Blanc, which I covered in my previous video. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter community, 
as well as Instagram community as we always, always enjoy helping you guys out. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing.